Welcome to the sixth part of the CSGO skin making tutorial using free and open source tools. In the last video we went through the settings of the CSGO workbench, viewed the skin there and saved it with the correct settings. In this video we'll be talking about default texts and patterns that might appear on the weapon alongside the skin and show how to remove them. Texts and patterns of the weapon are known as decals. These decals exist in the ambient occlusion map of the weapon. Examples of such decals are the pattern on the PP Bison's grip, the text and logo on the Tech 9, and the text and dashed pattern on the M4A4. However, there are some decals that can't be removed, such as the text on the Nova. It depends on how dark those decals appear in the ambient occlusion map of the weapon. In this video, we'll be removing the decals on the Glock's grip. This will give the skin a cleaner look. Keep in mind that this step is not a must. You can submit a skin without removing the weapon's decals. In case you're interested, there is a written document that describes how to remove decals using Photoshop. The document was written by a successful skin maker called Kai. In fact, the content of this video is mostly based on the document he wrote, so I would like to give him credits for sharing his knowledge on the matter. The link to the document is in the description. Having said that, performing the same steps of the document in GIMP can be tricky. So in this video, I will be showing how to do it easily in GIMP. First, let's find the ambient occlusion maps of the weapons. They can be found under this path. However, there's a big chance that you won't find this path on your computer. In that case, you'll need to download a tool called GCFscape, which can be found in this site. I'll post the link in the description. When you download and install the tool, go to the CSGO folder and scroll down till you find the file called pack01 underscore dir.vpk. Double click on it. Right click on the materials folder and choose extract. And choose the CSGO folder. When the extraction is done, go back to the customization folder and open the pist underscore glock18 folder and open the pist glock 18 aovtf file. We need to export the image into TGA format. In the VTF edit tool, go to File, Export. Make sure that the Save As type is set to TGA and save the file wherever you want. Open the extracted file in GIMP. The ambient occlusion information exists in the green channel of the image. So let's go to the Channels tab in the middle and disable all the channels except for the green one. Those are the dots that we want to remove. Now let's create a copy of the visible image in front of us by going back to the Layers tab. Right click on the layer and choose New from Visible. We can go back to the Channels tab now and enable the rest of the channels again. Now we want to turn the image to black and white in order for the process to work. So with the visible layer chosen, go to the Colors tab and go down to Desaturate and choose Color to Gray. Last thing we need to do here is to scale the image up. If you look closely, the size of the image is 1024 by 1024 and our UV sheet is 2048 by 2048. So go to the Image tab, Scale Image, and set the width and height sizes to 2048 by 2048. Open the Skins GIMP file that contains the diffuse map. Disable the visible layer and enable the other ones. Let's create another layer from Visible as we did earlier. Right click on one of the layers and choose New from Visible. Now disable the other layers and rename the new layer as Skin. Go back to the Ambient Occlusion tab and copy the visible layer by pressing Ctrl C and paste it on top of the Skin layer by pressing Ctrl V. Click on the New Layer button. The idea of what we are trying to do here is to invert the effect of the Ambient Occlusion. We want to tell CSGO to load our skin minus the decals in the ambient occlusion. CSGO applies the ambient occlusion on the skin using the multiply blend mode. So in order to invert this effect, we'll set the ambient occlusion layer to the divide blend mode. Click on the mode list in the middle and choose divide. 
Now if we look closely, we'll see white dots on the handle. These will cancel out with the ambient occlusion that CSGO adds. Don't worry about the white parts in the image, they won't affect the skin. Now let's create a new from visible again and disable all the other layers. Let's call the new layer final. Last step in this process is to copy the mask from our old visible layer and add it to our final layer. Unfortunately, there is no straightforward way to do it in GIMP, but there is a workaround for it. Right click on the mask layer and choose mask to selection. Then right click on the final layer and choose add layer mask. And now in the pop-up, instead of white, choose selection and click add. Press shift ctrl e to export the image and override the old UV TGA file we created in the fourth video. Open the VTF edit tool. Import the new version of the UV TGA file and override the old VTF file. Now when we look at the skin in the workbench we can see that the dots are gone. Let's compare how it currently looks with how it looked before and we can clearly see that the skin now is cleaner. And with this we finish the 6th part of the CSGO skin making tutorial. In the next and last video of this series we'll see how to inspect the skin outside the workbench and in one of CSGO's maps.